Hi everyone. Uh, just your assessment first of that. Uh, yeah, I thought it was, it was a game of missed chances. We um, created a lot of ruck speed in the first half. Um, unrewarded a lot of it with um, you know failure to find the right play on the end of the ruck speed um, and second half we you know we created a lot of opportunities and, and didn't didn't execute but we you know I thought we won the, the physical battle um, we created more chances um, but the nature of sport is you've got to execute on the end of it was it just those finishing touches? Do you think you made those three breaks in particular, and, and you know, ball either went down or went to a LFC player? That was that was that were the critical moments. There was a couple of poor defensive moments um, in the game, which we were punished for again. Um, but overall, you know, I thought our defence looked largely in control. We won a lot of physical collisions tonight, more than the opposition, I would suggest. Um, but the you know some of the some of the some of the things that you win you don't get rewarded for as well, um, but that's out of your control. From a general point of view, are you pleased with, with the improvements from last week? Uh, last week is irrelevant. Um, tonight there was a lot of intent. Um, there was a lot of effort put in, and you know we put ourselves put ourselves in a in a position to win the game. Um, which is, you know, those things are pleasing, but we, you know, we didn't go on with it, so everyone's very disappointed. What did you make to Nene on debut? Uh, he had some tremendous carries. Um, he was a handful, and you know, it was a, it was a steady way to start. I thought. And just finally for me, how was that Morgan Gunn? Uh, he failed his HIA, so we'll go through the the appropriate processes there. But he's he's fine. He's um. He's in good health. There's no, no dramas there. Do you think you should have got more six agains in the game, especially in the first half, with that quick rook speed that you spoke about? What, what do you think? Possibly, yeah. There's, there's no consistency, and, you know, I watched last night's match as well. There, there's a lot of flops and second efforts that ruck speed's not been rewarded. So, you know, if that's how they're going to adjudicate it, then... We'll, we'll have to find another way. In terms of Morgan Gannon going off, do you think that, well, how good was Cameron Smith moving into the second row, do you think? Because I thought he did very well. Yeah, Cam did well. He's a footy player. He can play wherever he's, he's required. Um, it was obviously disappointing to lose Gano and uh, for, for him and for the team, but, you know, the, the team covered his absence reasonably well, I thought. And how do you think that Shanley did in the centres again? Overall, I thought he had a, he had a good game, yeah. Rowan, you talk about inconsistencies with six against. Is that the same across the league? It's not just a Leeds Rhinos thing, is it? I know, speaking to Tony every week, he shares exactly the same opinion as you. Ask him tonight and see how he, see, how, see what he thought. Um, I'm sure all coaches can pick some that, that could be going their way. Um, I'm not sure if many coaches actually look and go, oh, that should have been, you know, one going the other way. Where, I, you know, I'm watching the game up there going, oh, that's... That could have been, but I, I think, you know, there, it, I don't know who to speak to there when each week they ask for feedback, you, you contact and you, you don't hear back. So um, that wasn't the reason tonight. Um, I, I think the referees are handling the big moments around when the crowd roar quite well so far from what I've seen, uh, but the ruck and offside are um, interesting. Big problem to sort out then for the competition, would you say? I'm not going to comment anymore. Ron, you mentioned there's uh, some defensive moments. Obviously, goal line D was so good at the end of last year. If you, is, is that is that a frustration? Because as much as the, the missed chances cost you, those those moments are equally as, as costly. Yeah, it, it takes some time also to get your goal line D really, really smooth. Um, well, maybe not smooth is the right word, but but. Uh, to execute and find a way to keep the ball off the ground because in the end it's the team that scrambles the best that has the best goal line D regardless of, of system um, or it's system and effort that go into it. It takes a while because you, you know, you don't, as much as you train competitively, you don't 
do full contact at training, like full combat, like it's a game, there's two points on the line. So it takes a bit of practice to get up to speed. Um, you know, I've watched a, a bunch of the NRL trials recently and some of the best teams um, have, have equally been a little bit off. So um, I think it's, you know, it's difficult at the start of the year to, to have all systems going on, on every aspect. Um, last week we found a bit of grit in the second half. This week we found um, some real ruck speed and physical, you know, dominance at times, created some chances, but didn't have the execution. So, you know, the, the coming weeks will be trying to put together more, a more complete performance. Would you take the results out of it, looking at it from a few, a few performance perspective, are you content with where you're at for round two in terms of performance? No. How far off are you? Where you would have hoped it would have been at this point? Um, I thought our execution should have been, if you know, if it was somewhat better tonight, the result goes our way. Um, if it's a lot better, you know, I, th I think the result is certainly n not in question. Um, yeah, I had no idea where we were going to be in round two. I don't know if any coach could tell you where they were going to be in round two, other than working hard, being in the scrap, and, and trying to get a couple of results early on.